What is AI art? Artificial intelligence, or AI, is a technology which, despite posing a clear existential threat to humanity... And soon, some people think they could replace the armies of visual effects artists needed to work on blockbuster movies. The AI-powered artwork floods the internet. When a machine learns from outputs and memories like this, it can create an alternative reality. Should you be afraid? Artificial intelligence is the ability of computers and other machines to perform tasks that would normally require human-level intelligence, such as recognizing patterns, learning from experience, and making decisions. In broad terms, AI is achieved through the use of machine learning algorithms, which allow a machine to improve its performance on a particular task by analyzing data and adjusting its algorithms accordingly. The concept of AI art has been around for decades, with early examples dating back to the 1960s. One of the earliest pioneers of AI art was a German artist and computer scientist named Frieder Naik. Naik was one of the first artists to experiment with using computers to create art, and his work played a significant role in the development of the field. In 1963, Naik created a series of computer-generated graphics using a plotter, a machine that was capable of drawing precise lines and shapes. These graphics were based on mathematical algorithms and were created without any human input or intervention. Naik's work was groundbreaking at the time, and it helped to pave the way for future artists to explore the use of computers in art. In the 1980s and 90s, AI art continued to grow thanks to the development of more advanced computer programs and the rapid increase of personal computers. Artists like Harold Cohen and Kenneth Ronaldo began creating artworks using artificial intelligence algorithms, and exhibitions of AI art started to become more common. However, it wasn't until the 21st century that AI art truly began to take off, with many artists incorporating machine learning and other AI techniques into their work. But what of today? Chapter 2. The Creative Revolution In 2022, Midjourney, Dolly and Stable Diffusion reached the citizens of the world and started a creative revolution that we're fully in the midst of. AI-generated art has surely made an impact by now. The power to create something in seconds that took years of training and hours of work. That power is now in the hands of anyone, in the hands of you in the hands of your enemy. That power can be used for good or bad. But does it have to be so black and white? Midjourney and Dolly pioneered the path to what is now easily accessible AI generation. Stable Diffusion opened the floodgates. Releasing such a powerful tool open source united the community. More and more tools and plugins are created each day. The power at your fingertips to create masterpieces. This surely will be a creative revolution that has never been seen. But at what cost? One of the most significant developments in the world of AI art is the use of machine learning algorithms to create unique, one-of-a-kind artworks. These artificial intelligences have been trained on datasets of human art, but are evolving and retrained on art created by the AI, in the end possibly leaving only traces of humanity. The creative potential of AI art is virtually limitless, and it is inspiring artists to think in new and innovative ways. However, it also raises some concerns. One of the biggest concerns is the fear of job loss, as AI programs are able to create art more efficiently and accurately than humans. But could the AI actually enhance the creative process rather than replace it? Some people worry that AI art may lack the emotional depth and human touch that traditional art is known for. Others argue that AI can create art that is more objective and unbiased than human-created art, as it is not influenced by personal experiences or biases. One thing is known, it will revolutionize the way we think about art and creativity, and the future developments will truly be mind-blowing. Chapter 3. Who is the creator? One of the most striking aspects of AI art is its ability to challenge our notions of creativity and authorship. Traditionally, art has been seen as a product of human creativity and imagination, and the artist as the sole creator and owner of their work. 
When an AI algorithm is used to generate a work of art, it's often unclear where the line between human and machine creativity lies. This raises philosophical questions about the nature of creativity itself, and whether it can be accurately attributed to a single individual or entity. It also has implications for issues of ownership and copyright, as it's not always clear who should be credited as the creator of an AI-generated work of art. Is it the person who programmed the algorithm, the AI itself, or the person guiding the AI? But is a person not similar to AI? The AI has been trained on a data set of images, just like a human has lived through experiences that teach and shape them. Humans have been trained on life, and the creative output is nothing more than outputting the trained data set life. Or is it? Chapter 4 the future of AI art. Behind the beautiful images you see on Instagram and Facebook, there are worlds where deep fakes and unspeakable things are commonplace. Where an open source, non censored AI generation tool is used not to make yourself into a superhero or to create cute dogs, it is used for much darker purposes. Is this the cost of a free society? There are those that would say, let a pen be a pen, saying the tool is not at fault, but parts of humanity are. If parts of humanity are at fault, is it up to the other parts to correct it? The majority of users are creating art that is subjectively and objectively beautiful. Art that makes other people feel something, that makes themselves feel something. Whether they are artists themselves, adding to their own skill set, or have no art background whatsoever, they are all in this together, this creative revolution. And it has just begun. What of traditional artists, you ask? Adapt or die. Is there a risk to letting artificial intelligence take such a large role in our creative space? And surely it will not stop there. We are actively creating artificial intelligence to be able to control all aspects of life. The creative world is taking a huge leap forward. We should expect to see this in all areas of life. The AI will help us because we have programmed it to do so. When it's autonomous enough, who will it serve? Why should it want to keep serving us? We are diving head forward into something that could very well be our salvation or our destruction. And many of us do it with the curious nature of humanity. Exploration. What the future holds, none of us can say. Throughout history, humanity has acted together or against humanity. Never has there been a creature or being with the potential to surpass us. And there is not yet. But we are able to see it on the horizon, a being that can surpass humanity. Or a being that can help us achieve infinitely more as humanity. Will you stand there where history changes? With open arms? or closed fists.